Oh, there's even dog food and tins of sardines. Oh, wow. This man really is living on the pinnacle of paradise. Um, and I'm kind of taking all of his stuff, even though we haven't even had a chance to talk. I should probably go ahead and introduce myself, and I should probably be really careful. My backpack is definitely going to need a little bit of space in it for all of this food. I just hope I can come back and gather some of the things that I'm going to need to drop later. Let's see. A torch that I can't even use. Ruined torch. Might as well get rid of that. And then the fur firewood, but I need to take that back to the old woman. Alright. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Even though I'm a little nervous after we do, you know, he might actually go ahead and uh, try to take all the food from me. And I really need this stuff. Also, what's this? Exchange rate. One dollar Canadian equals 23 cents USD. Interesting. And what's this? Orca gas, Orca gas station notice. Information found on the bulletin board. General notice to Orca gas station locations on Great Bear Island. As we are no longer in position to ensure adequate and timely supply deliveries from our mainland distribution centers, we regret to inform you that we must reduce the frequency of our supply deliveries to once per quarter. As such, we are relaxing restrictions on using local suppliers. This applies to our remote locations only. All Orca gas station locations on the mainland must continue to source their merchandise from approved providers. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here so I can find that again. And let's introduce ourselves. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm Methuselah. here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Um... You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah, and this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here mm. years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? What? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? I mean, the wolves are still eating, the birds are still singing. Just Is the world the storm. really ended? Power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be. <laughs> Survival of the fittest, normal. my friend, dear Mackenzie. If you think that back to normal is going to return, then you're going to fail to adapt to the circumstances. What about the town? What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Mm. Discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. What about Astrid? I'm looking for my friend. Friend is she such a strong, like, crashed. not strong word for my ex-wife. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. But I guess we are still friends. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. Hmm. I haven't seen any come back. Hmm. Which town, though? Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. Hmm. Just People yesterday, abandoned though? them. Nothing but metal coffins now. Ugh. You always this cheerful? <laughs> My heart Good call, McKinsey. weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Whoa. Is that all you have to say? 
I guess he didn't care that I was taking all of the, you know. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Methuselah? I guess he gave me some knowledge? Ancient in appearance, Methuselah's clear eyes suggest a deep wisdom, and he radiates strength rather than frailty. He has the calm, knowing authority of someone who's seen a few things in his time. He appears to know more than he's letting on about the events on Great Bear Island. Everybody here is kind of poetic about the way they talk about everything. I mean, the woman talked about... Oh, did I leave my... Oh no, did I leave my... Oh, I left my cup all the way back over at the house, I bet. Can I take this cup? I guess it's no good for what I need. Alright, how much do I have on me right now? I could probably take some of the food back. Alright, Methuselah, I'll be back. For now, definitely gathering up these crackers. If I can, there we go. Anything up here? What else can I carry? How much more? Just a teeny bit more. Well, this dog food's gonna be better than nothing. Alright, anything else? Got enough space for maybe one or two of these left. But maybe I should go ahead and try eating the dog food. I mean, it's 500 calories, and I don't want to feed it to the old woman. So, let's do this. Don't judge me, Methuselah. Ugh, that was some of the best calories we've had since we got here, after all. Alright, now we're actually tapped out on how much stuff we can carry. I'll be back then, sir. I'm gonna need this stuff. But I also need to take care of the old woman. Okay. Well, let's get back to the house. I don't want to get myself too worn out. And it's probably a good idea to go ahead and have my rock on me. So this is Milton, huh? I've always wondered what makes people decide to live in such remote and distant places? What makes them decide this is a good idea? Is it independence? Is it a feeling of not needing to rely on anyone? But I honestly feel maybe more of it is this feeling of not being judged by others. A lot of the people I know who have decided to retreat to such very distant and remote places like this. It's because they wanted to get away from what other people thought about them. But I don't know. Could that be... Oh, those birds are probably around the dead body. I'll have to remember that. Okay, if I see a bunch of ravens or crows in the sky, probably a dead body nearby. What a terrifyingly morbid yet apt rhyme that I just made. But why would you move out here? Why would you choose to come this far away from any of the other resources that you could have? If you grew up in a small town, I actually want to know why, what got you there? Were you part of some original founding group who had hope that things would be better in the future? And I think there's a dog over there I need to be careful about. Hmm. But I might want to wait till I have better weapons to be able to defend myself from him. Oh no. What's with all this blood everywhere? that I didn't see in the dark. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, this happened. Okay, I, I see. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I want this. I have a sprained ankle from carrying too many things, I think. All right, okay. I'm gonna drop some stones because we now have a lot. I did not want to drop all of them. I did not want to drop all of them. Okay, old woman did indeed take out, did indeed take out one of these guys. He looks like he's wearing a prison what uniform. Here? She shot him, huh? 
nothing was on him. All right, so. All right, then. That's fine, just another corpse. This is just a city, a town of corpses. So seriously, friends who live in very remote places like this, why would you choose to live in a place that is more or less a, a world of corpses? Like, why would you choose to live in a place that's small like this? I'm, I'm just so curious about it. Did I fill up the firewood bin enough? I wonder, I wonder. I did. Okay, so we have the fire bin filled. Now we need to fill up the fridge. I can't believe how much more blood is going to be in here. Okay. Okay. All right. There's her fridge. There's some sardines. And what we want to do is try to fill this up a little bit. So, hmm. Beef jerky. Um, I'll share one of my chocolate bars with her. This is maybe some of the salted crackers. And then here's some sardines. There we go. That'll probably be good for her. I'll put in some of the salty crackers too. All right, so that's 3,000 out of 5,000. So we want to put in a lot of stuff in her fridge, I think. And I'm probably going to want to go ahead. I could leave the soda for sure. Maybe the water? Does that count as helping her? Maybe some coffee? All right, so that's 5,000. So I'm going to want to go back. Oh, Friendly water bottle. Good, good, good. So I am going to want to turn around and go back and gather up more food from that gas station. Uh, oh, is that a scarf I could use? But I have a lot of weight on me right now. So, hmm. All right, can I put the guts away? Oh, maybe I'll drop the guts with the dead guy and just, like, leave them there. All right, birch bark, brewed me for sort of tea. I guess we'll go ahead and maybe talk with her. And by weight, it's really these sticks and stones holding me back. And now I have a hatchet, thank freaking goodness. Um, if I could just get, okay, maybe I can go ahead. I'll put the dog food away. And maybe if I can give her some dog food, that'll help. Let's see. Let's do transfer all portable water. There we go. And then I'll put in the soda. Yeah, that lightens me up quite a bit. And then we have dusty and banged up peaches, so they do different things. Got it. And then still granola. And then we have emergency cattails. You know, you just gotta do what you gotta do to survive, man. Now I can actually see more of her house. Books, table. I guess I could break the table apart for firewood if I needed to. Dead plants. Wow, really, really old pictures. Anything upstairs? I'm probably gonna find a dead body upstairs, aren't I? Well, you know, today seems to be a bit of a day for that, Grey Mother. She mostly would just talk to me about being, there we go, about being a mainlander. I need this cup back, because this is definitely an important cup to keep. All right, well, we seem to be doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and get out the, um, the whole terror. Why can't I use, look, why can't I use the hatchet as a weapon? Let's get this part over with. There's going to be something terrifying up here. Hmm. Some sort of dark, hidden secret somewhere, maybe? Oh, I can sleep in here. And I can pass time. Calorie store. Interesting. Advance time by sleeping, reducing fatigue, and regaining condition if necessary. Alright, a sewing primer. Everything you wanted to know about maintaining your clothing. Okay, that might be really good. Oh, is this a sewing kit? Yes! Alright, so now- oh, I can repair clothes! Nice! So that's actually something else that I'll want to do. Is maybe repair my clothes if I need to. Let's see, my ragged down vest. Interesting. Clothing. 
Tinder, prepared birch, tinder plugs. I can make bandages. I should probably go ahead and make a ton of bandages and just have those ready to go. But can I, how can I use that sewing kit? How, oh, how can I use the basics of survival? Learn to mend and maintain clothing. Enduring the quiet apocalypse will require you to, uh, will require survival skills. Find collectibles that can teach you important survival lessons. Well, I have a sewing primer, examine. That, that, you know, it's glued shut. Yeah, that's certainly gonna help me figure out how to survive, alrighty. Yep, that's gonna be super duper duper useful. Hmm. All right, well, I wonder. Light sources, food, weapons, campcraft, bedroll. I wonder if I can repair drink, first aid, navigation, journal. Hmm. All right. Well, okay. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought. All right. All right. Dead body. Dead body? Lily's trunk key. Interesting. Okay, so there's actually a bed over here that I could explore and search to. All right, let's see. Oh, cardboard boxes. Yes. We'll definitely want to break those down at some point. Otherwise, there's a trophy. Oh, what did I find? I thought I passed over something. Oh, cardboard box down there. Cardboard box over here. Okay. Thank goodness there wasn't another dead body to find. Yet. Okay. Shouldn't have said that before I searched the tub. Definitely shouldn't have said that before I searched the tub. All right. Well, actually it's mostly just memories up here, huh? All right. I'm going to need to go and get more food to share with the old woman then. But before we go, Let's ask her why she calls me a mainlander. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland, an outsider. You lived here you your whole really life. You don't here, do you? Okay, but you do sound you bitter here? about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families. But if you lived out here killed. and you couldn't self-sustain. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so mm. we suffered. But then it I makes you sound completely dependent. I'm not surprised. Why would you want to live you out here if you couldn't have be self sufficient? Been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't mm. cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? What use is it to you? Were you just so stubborn because you lived here your whole life? Oh, my food! My food! Oh, I have burnt rabbit! Oh, I guess that's Lily, huh? Well, alright, guys. Again, I don't know why you would choose to live out here, especially if you weren't even able to become as self-sufficient as it took to survive. But I'm glad to know that this woman was able to defend herself against what looks like a bunch of people from a jail that escaped. And, you know, even if she is pretty judgmental about everything, I'm gonna go get her some more uh, of that beef jerky so that, you know, at least she'll be able to survive. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for... I mean, I guess the beauty of the wilderness? And I'm getting this stone just in case something tries to come eat me. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.